Wildfire coverage now. Right now, crews are taking advantage of lighter winds. They are increasing containment, which is good news tonight. We're concerned. I mean, we're going back into red flag for low humidities and increasing winds, but uh, we have a lot more resources now. Uh, we will be prepared. Now, the devastation is extensive. The wildfires are burning through county after county. They've claimed at least 34 lives. Nearly half of those are from Santa Rosa. 5,700 structures have been destroyed in the fires. Some 221,000 acres have burned just since Sunday night. The Tubbs fire today burning between Santa Rosa and Calistoga. This is it. Saw some flames today, but some good news. They actually have some containment now, about 25%. Communication has been a big problem. 77 cell towers were destroyed. Most have actually now been fixed, but people are still having a hard time contacting family members and still more than 200 reports of missing people, people unaccounted for just in Sonoma County. Tonight, Action News reporter Max Resnick with more on the search and rescue operation. Walking amid the twisted and torched metal that was a Santa Rosa mobile home park is a search and rescue team now focused on recovery. We've been tasked with checking a few homes here at the Journeys Inn mobile home park. They arrive here based on detective leads in search of five people reported missing as a result of the Tubbs fire. We've already uh, knocked one or two of those down. They've been located other places, thankfully. They dig through ash and lift pieces of destroyed mobile homes in search of any clues that someone may not have made it out of here alive. We are basically digging through rubble. We're looking for, at this point, um, anything human clothing could be, but mo everything has been burned up that we found and we we're finding um, bone basically is what it's been reduced to. In addition to the dozens of volunteers from Marin, Monterey and Sonoma County as part of the search and rescue effort, there are five cadaver dog teams here as well. They come from Alameda County. They're doing a great job of uh, searching around, giving us an idea of where to start searching. Together, they do find another victim of the fire. Nobody has ever dreamed that something like this would come across the hill so fast and come into a populated uh, residential you know, area. The fire that scorched Santa Rosa was so hot, one victim had to be identified through a medical implant like a hip replacement. And it had the serial number on the implant and we were able to find that implant and the serial number in the ash. Now, the still daunting task of examining more than 250 missing persons reports nearly a week after the fire broke out. A sergeant with the Sonoma County Sheriff's Office says that once the search and rescue teams are done looking for missing people here at this mobile home park, they'll move on to other addresses where people have been reported missing. In Santa Rosa, Max Resnick, KSBW Action News 8. Monterey County Sheriff's Department is also helping, as you heard, with those search efforts. Monterey County Sheriff's Department sent 10 uh, members of their team on Wednesday. Another five headed out today. A lot of ground has to be covered. Outside agencies are providing mutual aid as long as it's needed. You know, all law enforcement agencies are going to do everything they can to, uh, to uh, supply the resources they need to be able to try to locate the people, you know, like you said, the hundreds of people that, that appear to be missing at this time. This morning, deputies from Santa Cruz County Sheriff's Office left for Santa, excuse me, Santa Rosa. Three teams We'll be rotating in and out until Sunday. Each team has four to eight deputies. Our meteorologist Ferdinand Holm is in for Lee tonight. He's got more on the, the winds and also the air quality. Yeah, both very, very related here. So uh, we do have some unhealthy air to talk about, especially up in Santa Cruz County, up toward Watsonville and in town in Santa Cruz. It's actually unhealthy for everybody on a scale of one to six. One is good, six being very bad, unhealthy for everybody. The red here is about a four. You know, the, the yellows are about twos and the oranges are about a three. So again, uh, around Salinas, unhealthy if you're sensitive, unhealthy for all up in Santa Cruz and moderate pretty much for everybody else around the central coast right now. And here's why. Winds, again, right now, here's where the fire is up in this area, or the fire. So again, sea breeze comes up, takes all the air and pushes it down toward us. Winds will be pretty strong overnight tonight, so there is another red flag warning in place. And here will be the strongest winds. You can see the time about two o'clock in the morning or so. so it's going to be another nighttime wind event up in the Diablo range of the North Bay Hills. We could see gusts to 50 miles per hour again. Those were actually uh, progged to hit the couple nights ago. They didn't actually materialize. So hopefully, again, this might be an over, uh, I guess, over prediction for winds to 50 miles per hour, but they are definitely possible. So again, better to err on the side of caution uh, than not. So look where the fire goes. 
or the wind goes out here and then the winds will settle down rather quickly but the sea breeze will pick up and then to, again tomorrow look where the wind arrows go straight down toward us so we're probably looking about similar conditions today also going through tomorrow, maybe even a little worse tomorrow because when the winds come down, it actually stokes the fire up. So uh, more smoke potentially there. And again, just to let you know, red flag warnings are in place. Northern California for tonight and tomorrow and then Southern California for Saturday and Sunday, Dan. All right, very good. Right. Thanks for... People from uh, around the state, meantime, have been reaching out to try and help victims of the fires here on the Central Coast. Volunteers are extending that help now to animals. Action News reporter Phil Gomez was there when the Santa Cruz County Animal Shelter responded. They're loading up the vehicles right now with crates. Santa Cruz County Animal Shelter volunteers and staff are picking up dogs from Mendocino County Animal Care in Ukiah and relocating them to Santa Cruz for adoption. I and mean, they desperately need help. We're going to be taking adoptable animals on their adoption floor and bringing them here for adoption. The relocation helps find a home for these adoptable animals and also opens up space in the Mendocino shelter to house animals who have been separated from their owners during the fires. They squeezed in as many crates as they could before their journey north. We'll see how many crates we can get in. That's probably how many animals we'll bring back. These dogs were picked up from the Napa County Animal Shelter Thursday, along with these cats by the Santa Cruz SPCA. This will open up space for strays or to board pets whose owners are currently without their homes. Uh, we had one kitten and then the rest were a mix of adult cats of all colors and sizes and age, just wonderful animals. And the dogs, we actually had, we took a lot of uh, smaller uh, breed, we had some small terriers and chihuahua mixes, and we got in a fantastic uh, Malamute. Uh, mix. People who foster pets locally are also being counted on to take animals into their homes by both the SPCA and Santa Cruz County Animal Shelter. It sounds like it, they need as much help as they can get up, the, up north with all the fires. So I just want to help out as much as I can. And Santa Cruz County Animal Shelter should return tonight with a group of adoptable pets. The seven dogs and seven cats are available for adoption this weekend in Santa Cruz, Phil Gomez, KSBW Action News 8.